Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here and I am doing a video response challenge, what's it, tag, whatever. Um, I'm a bit late to the party as it is the May challenge of 31 days of witchcraft and it is in fact today the 19th, yes, I was right, and there are 31 prompts so I thought I'd make a few videos so as not to bombard you with 31 prompts at once and do maybe 10 per video 10 10 and 11 obviously because uh, there are 31 um but yeah here goes and i have not read the questions ahead of time so this could be interesting <laughs> question one is your witchcraft secular spiritual or religious how does this influence your practice now i would say probably spiritual definitely not secular and definitely not religious um, because like I do worship deity and whatnot, but I'm not particularly religious, um, which I know is a weird distinction, but I guess because, I mean, I, I get involved in ritual and there are certain things I certainly do do, but to me, it doesn't feel like religion, maybe because growing up religion to me was Christianity and it was more of a chore at times whereas witchcraft to me feels very joyous and liberated which is i suppose part of why i practice it but yeah so maybe between spiritual and religious but i don't know i i don't feel like putting the label religious on myself seems apt but certainly if i were to answer in a census i would put my religion down as pagan um, and I often do, like when I fill out my last hospital intake forms, I put my religion down as pagan, so there you go. Uh, question two, do you work with any specific deities as part of your practice? Why or why not? Well, I just mentioned that I do. Um, some of the deities I work with involve the following. Bridget, who is of Celtic Irish origin. Uh, Rhiannon, who is, I believe, Welsh. Um, of the Aesir, the Nordic pantheon, I work with Odin and Freya. Um, of the Greek pantheon, I work with Artemis and a bit with Athena as well, I suppose. Um, I think they're really the main ones. Oh, and of the Kemetic Egyptian, ancient Egyptian, uh, I certainly work with Bast and Sekhmet. I'd say they're the main goddesses and god um, that I work with. Um, yeah, they, I mean, there could be others who are very insulted right now that I'm not remembering them. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite into the whole god goddess thing more goddess for me than gods nothing against the gods but i just tend to feel more called to work with goddesses question three what area of your practice are you currently focusing on if any uh i guess probably because i'm doing this kabbalah course um i'm did i mention it i can't remember if i mentioned it in another video um but i'm i'm doing a most of the year long kabbalah course Oh, I put it posted on Instagram. That's where I did it. Uh, I'm doing a most of the year long Kabbalah course, so I'm definitely working with the Kabbalah at the moment, um, and always tarot. I'm always focusing on tarot. Um, question four: What is your favorite element to work with? How do you work with it? Water, definitely. Water, water, water. I am a water being. I could swim before I could work. Walk. Look mermaid hair. <laughs> um, I grew up by the beach, by the ocean. Uh, when I was a very small child um, and my my parents and I, we lived in Queensland on the Gold Coast, which is very different to what it is today, let me tell you. Um, we had a swimming pool between the car and the house and I would escape from my parents' arms and end up in the pool every time going in and out of the house and they they didn't know how i did it because i was like i was able to walk but i wasn't really walking fully all the time at that point but 
So I would have been maybe one and a half, two years old, and I would just wriggle out and end up in the water. So they would just be like keeping spare clothes in the car because they just realized they couldn't avoid this. So whenever I can, I get in water and I missed out on going to the beach this summer because of the whole leg thing. Um, and I miss being immersed in water and my hydrotherapy pool is currently closed because of the whole global pandemic thing. So um, it is something I miss doing. I am desperate to go to the beach, but I don't know if I should or not. And oh, I'm a bit conflicted about that, but water is my thing. I, I cast my strongest spells when I'm in water um, and it just, it just brings me joy like nothing else. Just, oh my goodness, love it. And in fact, if I had tea, I would drink some, but I've got water, so I'll have a sip of water. <coughs> Thank you. Um, next question, question five. Have you had a teacher in the craft? Have you ever taken course or classes to help you learn witchcraft? What were your experiences uh, if you haven't had any? How are your thoughts and feelings on such courses? I have, in fact, taken classes, courses, are they classes because yeah I don't know so in January 2018 it must have been I did the first step in the reclaiming tradition which is the elements of magic course which was a two-day intense magical wonderful experience that changed my life forever and um, I'd participated in a reclaiming full moon ritual um, the in November 2017, I want to say, and um, one of the people who was running it um, was running this Elements of Magic class, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go because I really enjoyed the reclaiming full moon ritual. And turns out it's totally the tradition tradition for me. So I have taken, I have subsequently taken um, the Iron Pentacle, which is a next level course. You have to have taken Elements of Magic to do Iron Pentacle. Um, and I have done online six month course um, of the Pied Piper, which is a story class. I can't remember the, the proper name um, a storytelling elements um, reclaiming class, core class um, and as I just mentioned I'm currently doing this Kabbalah class all of these have been with Jane Meredith who is an absolutely amazing teacher who I've definitely mentioned before uh, she's just, she's a force of nature she's an incredible, incredible woman and I feel really, really lucky that I've gotten to work with her um, this Kabbalah course, course isn't reclaiming focused, but there's certainly a few other reclaimers in it. Um, so it's natural that there's a few <laughs> little elements of reclaiming that end up sneaking in. Um, I really enjoy doing classes with people in person. I prefer it in person, definitely. Um, online is fine, but I'm not as, always as diligent at getting my homework done, which is a bit of an ongoing problem. Um, yeah, but I, I love working with people. Um, I, not so much, you know, having to do group work like at university or whatever, but I love participating in ritual with other people and hearing what people think of their experiences. And it's just, it's just incredible. I really, really enjoy it. Um, that's definitely something I really dig. Um, so my experiences were very positive and um, I will definitely do more. Uh, question six. Do you incorporate environmental consciousness and sustainability into your craft? Well, I follow the reclaiming tradition, so yes. Um, reclaiming is very much about um, activism and the environment and all these <laughs> kind of good things. So it's, it's very natural that anyone who's involved in reclaiming would be. Um, environmentally aware because um, certainly those kind of things are connected um, and look I'm not perfect uh, I do my best 
I, I do my best to reduce my footprint um, in ways that are suitable for me um, and you know within the limits of my ability but um, and certainly in more recent times I've become more hesitant about things like crystals and certain um, incenses and saining and a few things like that because of things I've read about the environmental impacts um, I try not to yes I'm a tarot deck and oracle deck addict but I don't tend to purchase a lot of other kinds of tools for my for my craft I certainly do have a decent collection of things in my life like I'm that's I'm, I'm not a minimalist I will never be um, I try and incorporate the things in my life into my craft and I um, and I guess because I'm a water witch like seashells are one of the the most potent potent things I can gather um, and I'm very um, conscious of the environmental impact of that as well so I would say so I, I, I certainly do my best I'm not perfect like I'm not perfect but I I do my best um, where were we question seven I've got it on a word document this is why I'm keeping looking between the screens um, I need a second monitor there is a second monitor behind me but we yeah we have to rearrange my desk and I feel bad asking my housemate who spends all day working with computers to spend his evening helping me with a computer but whatever uh, question seven do you work with a specific animal spirit if so which animal and why if not is there one you would like to work with oh, oh my gosh yes um, animals are certainly one of my magical focuses my not to use an inappropriate term animal that is in my soul um, you know what I'm talking about is arctic fox which is interesting because like I've, I've never been I've never been that far north to somewhere where there actually are arctic foxes but I know that's my animal I've always had the feeling it was something four-legged and bushy-tailed um, I just couldn't work out if it was a wolf or a fox or dog or what but arctic fox specifically uh, so I certainly work with fox energy itself um, but the arctic fox is kind of the creature that I work with the most closely I also work with um, elephants a little elephant necklace on right now <laughs> um, I certainly work with elephants um, and bears and wolves as well um, are all animals that I'm very strongly connected to um, and dogs like I'm a dog dog kind of person so if it woofs barks howls <laughs> I'm into it um, eight do you refer to yourself as a witch if not why not if so what does the word mean to you absolutely yes I do um, absolutely I'm definitely a witch I I have used this term for a few years now um, and to me it is it is part of being the other and part of connecting to that community of the other um, I and I guess it's a similar kind of way in the word the similar to the way I connect to the word queer which is a big part of my identity as well and I know some people still see that word as a slur and I would certainly never you make anyone use it who doesn't feel comfortable using that word but it's a word I feel like myself and other people have reclaimed certainly the word witch as well um, is a word that's been reclaimed um, and it's a word of power it's a word of strength it's a word of solidarity it's a word of magic it means I am prepared to stand in being different I am prepared to stand in being apart from the mainstream but with my community um, and it means so many things it means it means so many things to me 
I just, yeah, I love the word witch. I really do. Uh, question nine. How do you use witchcraft in your day-to-day -day life? Um, I guess things like meditating and doing tarot and um, gratitude practice because I've started kind of incorporating my tarot more into my gratitude practice. Um, I came across this thing in a video that Katie Flowers did, um, tarot -tude, gratitude tarot or whatever it was called, um, and it was about using the tarot for your daily gratitude practice and you draw a card and you look at the card and see what's within the card that you are grateful for whether it's the meaning of the card or the picture of the card I think I've spoken about this before I can't remember but I have certainly started doing that so um, like if the tarot card depicts a group of friends I'm grateful for my friends or whatever it is um, so that's certainly a way uh, like and I bless a lot of my my I bless my jewelry and um, I, I I do little spells here and there and um, it's quite personal so I don't really want to go too much into it but yeah I'd say it's it's definitely everyday kind of thing for me um, question 10 do you follow any set rules in your personal practice such as harm none um, whilst I've not yet deliberately put a hex on anyone it's not something I rule out um, I yeah I mean if it's appropriate I don't see the harm um, but also like I don't know how to put this um, I mean, I don't really have set rules like that. Like, that's more to do with morality and ethics, I think. Oh, off goes my dog. Um, he's been, he was sleeping peacefully behind me for a bit. Um, I certainly have my own code of ethics and morality that I follow in my day-to-day -day life that stretches into my witchcraft life. Like, you know, I don't go around punching people. Um, so I'm less likely to deliberately cause harm to others unless I feel it's appropriate um, and it certainly got me thinking and I will just do question 11 even though I said I was going to do 10 because I've just seen it um, and it's do you believe in the concept of the threefold law of return and that certainly connects to question 10 of the harm none um, do's that will and harm none, you know, um, which is a, the Wiccan read. And the threefold law is certainly a concept in Wiccan. Um, yes, it comes up in other varieties <laughs> of witchcraft. I couldn't think of a better term. Um, and it's the whole concept of if something you do will be returned to you the power of three um so if you harm someone if you send harm to someone that harm will come back to you to the power of three so that's part of what stops some people from practicing hexes and curses and whatnot but i don't think that that should be your motivation i think your motivation should be you know your own morality like yeah i i really would i'm really curious to go and watch videos um of other people's responses to this because like i'm not sure if i do believe in the threefold law i don't know I, yeah i mean yeah that's really got me thinking i'm um, yeah i'm definitely gonna have to go and think about this because i'm not i'm not so sure so Maybe in the next video I'll come back with some answers. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And um, maybe there's a chance I'll actually 
just sit down and make these all at once although I'm hungry so maybe I'll eat my lunch and then come make the next video so if you see me in the same clothes mind you this is a main cardigan I'm wearing at the moment but if you see me in the exact same position you'll know why because <laughs> I made the videos all together um, I have rambled enough I will stop here I will post links in the description below um, about this tag and where it came from because I know I know I just don't remember and I did put it on my other screen and it's hidden so yeah I'll post the links um, a few people are doing it that I've seen I'm sure more people are doing it than I've seen but um, haven't been on YouTube a lot lately I've just you know trying to get back to everyday life um, just having a bit of an at home today at home day today before I've got a bit of bit of a big day tomorrow Ooh, it's gonna to be a bit too big but we'll be fine um, thank you so much for watching putting up with my rambling if you have done the 31 days of witchcraft tag and I um, tell me so I can watch your videos because I really enjoy these kind of tags getting to know people and seeing what people are into and what they think and um, two people I follow are definitely doing it but pro potentially more people I'm I like are doing it so who knows um, thank you so much for watching I will stop talking now many blessings and until next time